Victory means nothing, the fight is everything. Welcome to uh, episode 3 of What's in the Box, Friday, June 9th, 1 a.m. Should have opened this box earlier tonight, yesterday night, <laughs> politically correct. Should have opened it earlier, several hours ago, but right after work, I went to go see the movie. Good movie. Um, I was just stepping out to work. FedEx pulled up, blocked me from leaving, signed for the box, put it inside, went to work, and I, yeah. So what's in the box? Episode three. I went to Comic-Con on May 27th, Saturday, May 27th. I uh, had 18 books, two that were not signed, and 16 others were signed. Those were signed by... Uh, Mark Brooks, Whit, Ashley Witter, David Finch. That's going to be an interesting uh, episode four of What's in the Box. But we're in episode three right now. So, um, Under the facilitator, the CB, CBCS facilitator, Jake Fleming, he advised that uh, I, I purchase a membership and I get my two books that are not signed comped. I would get them comped as per membership um, and I'm saving two dollars on the 16 other books which would have been like 32 bucks I'm saving um, I would pay a hundred dollars I would save two dollars and I get three fast passes which cuts the time in half and I would get two 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 day modern turnarounds, two day modern turnarounds, and so those are the books that were not signed that I did that with, and um, I would only have to pay shipping on those two day two day two two day modern turnaround tier comics, which was like twenty four dollars. I'm already saving thirty six. I'm buying a membership. What the heck? Let's do it. Um thinking of submitting, I'm planning on submitting a good 50 to 55 at uh, Rose City Comic Con in Portland come September, but uh, that should be an interesting uh, what's in the box, episode 5. But we're on episode 3 still, so we'll just wait. We'll talk about that later. So, maybe, oh, that's going to be episode 6, actually, September. Um, any guesses of what's in the, what's going to be in the box? I have two two books. I know all my friends are thinking Captain Marvel, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's not no Carol Danvers or Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is my absolute favorite superhero. I didn't get these encased. Um, I love. I love what I'm about to pull out just as much as I love Captain Marvel. Um, and I wrote a whole blog about this. I wrote a whole blog about Captain Marvel. And I wrote a whole blog about this a couple years ago. Um, still a part of my childhood. Still calls to me. I see it. Yeah. So anyways, we're going we're gonna to open what's in the box. Pretty big box. Pretty big box. So let's open it. Now that's my Instagram. If you want to look at other books that I've had in what's in the box, feel free to think. So, any guesses? Let's open this baby up. Got my knife. 
Remember that from my last episode. Disappointed at the grade, but it's the way the ball bounces. This is our germs work. Um, it is what it is. Beautiful art by our germ. Our germ is my number one favorite artist. Mark Brooks comes in second. John Tyler Christopher to third because his action figure variants. Um, I'm also starting to like Warren Lowe. So this is you had to buy the comic store had to buy 20 regular Street Fighter versus Dark Stalkers to get this one. And Street Fighter, anything Street Fighter is Always, all the variants are on my pull list. So, interesting story about Street Fighter versus G.I. Joe. This is the um, Tim Lim, and uh, this is a wraparound cover, and this is a Heroes and Fantasies variant. It's a wraparound. Beautiful art. Beautiful art. I honestly thought I was going to get a better grade. Had some flaws that I didn't know about. But I'm going to tell you a little story about this book. Okay, so I didn't know that book existed until I read this, which is the entire Street Fighter versus. G.I. Joe covers put together and it's a uh, collects everything. It's a really, really good book. A really good, it was very well put together. But uh, looking at some of the history in here, and as I was reading the book, those are some of the variant covers, some of the other covers. There it is. And I didn't know what it was. So I had to do a little bit of research, but this is the book that I discovered. So, um, little story about that book, Hero, Heroes and Fantasies exclusive. Um, they ordered a thousand books, something happened, 800, 800 copies had to be destroyed. So there was only like 200 in existence and when I finally tracked them down, the website said, oh, there's two left. So I bought one. This is last summer, I bought one. I safely tucked it away. And several months ago, I was looking for it. I was like, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it graded. Next chance I get, I'm gonna get it graded. And I literally tore my den up for three hours looking for it. I could not find it. it. Drove me up the wall. I went through all my all my comic books, book by book by book, and I could not find it. <laughs> I had remembered I had put it away. So I go to the Heroes and Fantasies website. 
they're sold out. <laughs> Went on eBay, can't find it. Got me really, really, really bummed. <laughs> I got scared. So I just kept looking for it. I, the next day, I looked for three more hours, couldn't find it. And then, uh, yeah, I finally found it. <laughs> Tucked away, really, really safe, in a really safe place. So that's the story about that cover. Um, I'm a huge Street Fighter fan. Huge, huge Street Fighter fan. As you can see. <laughs> so, I love Captain Marvel just as much as I love Street Fighter. So, to all my friends out there, if you want to get me a little gift, usually it's something either to do with Captain Marvel or Street Fighter. And, like, a shout out to, uh, shout out to Drawn to Comics for always putting, uh, all the Street Fighter variants in my pull box. They know how much I love Captain Marvel and they know how much I love Street Fighter. So, uh, shouts out to Dronda Comics in Glendale, Arizona. Ken Brown, Susan Brown run the store. And like I said, it is a 9.6, but um, still a beautiful cover and it's going to look nice on my wall. So, that's this episode. That's this that's it for this episode of what's in the box and uh we'll see you soon for episode four and five and coming sometime this summer <laughs>